Deciphering, swan off, dive into English phrases. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating English phrase that might have left some of you scratching your heads. Swan off. Ever heard of it? If not, or even if you have, stick around, and let's unravel its meaning together. Swan off is a colloquial English expression. The word, swan, might make you think of the beautiful, graceful bird often seen gliding on the surface of lakes. But in this context, swan is used as a verb. Historically, the term was used to describe someone moving about or behaving in a carefree or showy manner, akin to the graceful movement of a swan. Over time, the meaning has evolved. Today, when someone says they're swanning off or accuses someone of swanning off, they are typically referring to a person leaving or going somewhere, especially without notifying others or without fulfilling their responsibilities. It often carries a nuance of doing so in a carefree or nonchalant manner. For instance, if a coworker left work early without finishing their tasks, a colleague might remark, look at John, swanning off early again. To help you grasp the meaning better, here are a few examples. 1. She can't just swan off in the middle of the project. We need her here. 2. I wish I could swan off to the Bahamas for a week, but there's too much work to be done. 3. Every time there's an issue, he just swans off and leaves the rest of us to deal with it. And there we have it. The phrase, swan off, is just one of the many colorful expressions the English language has to offer. Remember, context is always key in understanding such idioms. We hope this video shed some light on its meaning and usage. Keep exploring the intricacies of English. And until next time, happy learning!